It's been about an hour or so, and uh, now we're going to do a bit more work on the feet. It's just still a little bit soft. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of uh, stainless steel and use it as a uh, cutter. Okay, so I'm going to line this up about a half inch from the edge and I'm going to uh, gently cut that off. It's stiffer than I thought it was. That's okay, no big deal. I'll just show you what I just did. I'll hold that over there about a half inch from the edge. It's very crumbly. I think it's because it's reworked cement, not fresh cement. find a cookie cutter in a, uh, in a kitchen shop somewhere to do this. I'm just going to pop that in there. I'm just going to uh, cut that off. Yeah, this is quite stiff. Didn't work well at all. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think it's a combination of leaving it too long and, uh, and it already being kind of old, out of date cement. piece of uh, plywood that I uh, used to sand it to create a bit of a bevel shape there. I'm going to put that across there. Uh, I'm just going to cut that. Carefully go around the edge here. You kind of shape it with the wet sponge. Okay. Using my sponge, I'm going to kind of gently fix the shape here a little bit.
with this. So, you know, I'm especially going to go ahead and I'm going to go over this. So I'm going to check everything, fine tune it a little bit, and then fix my remaining feet. The only thing is, I mean, nobody pays that much attention to the feet, so it's not something you know, I'm spending an awful lot of time on. Okay, so. I'm going to give it a little bit more time, we're going to fix that last foot uh, and then when it's a bit more dry I'm going to go over it with number 80 sandpaper and it's going to really get the shape uh, perfect. I put the other leg on, the other foot on, and now I'm going to finish up the shaping. I've actually already started a little bit, but basically I'm going to take number 80 sandpaper, the, the black one, the waterproof one, and uh, I'm going to wet down the shape here, pretty wet, which is good, okay, <coughs> and then I'm going to carefully grab the sides here, like that. nice broad Flowing strokes. The idea is to level the surface, remove cutter marks, get the, get the nice shape, get the flowing shape. On the corners, you got some areas like here on this corner. You can see it's a bit rough over here. You can also see where I accidentally knocked that off. I'm not going to worry too much about that. You see it's a little bit rough. So I'm going to, you know, stay close. Pay special attention to that. Go around like this. Make sure you can't see it. So, you know, kind of go around like that. Get the corners to look nice. You have to keep it wiped down and clean and look for any kind of problem areas, anything that's raised, like there's a raised section here, this doesn't look so good. So I can just go over that part now. And because this is still fairly soft, it's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon now, I started about 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, so it's still, you know, it's, it's pretty soft, it's, it's still very workable, the sandpaper. Now you see, I've pretty much got rid of that, with just, just the lightest of touch, I got rid of that mark. There's still pock marks on here, which I was hoping not to have, with the vibrating, the concrete thing. It seems like it's difficult to get rid of. If you're really concerned about it, you can go over and fill them off, uh, with a bit more cement. But you know, they're not a bad thing. It gives it kind of a natural and made look. Uh, so I've already been over this. Looks, looks like it's kind of smooth already. So it's also looking pretty good at this point. Now, this uh, lower lip here, I want to do a little bit more work on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sandpaper. I'm going to fold it over to give myself a sharp edge and then I'm just going to cut around here like this and then I'm going to modify the angle, kind of angle it up a little bit 
This is still pretty fragile, uh, this, this lip in particular. So you know you definitely want to be a bit careful with that. And I want to make sure my uh, edge is kind of straight here. It's not particularly straight right now. So I can carefully take my sandpaper and any high spot very gently. I'm barely touching it. Very gently just go over. It really doesn't take much to move material with the sandpaper when it's this soft. This crack knock here, I'm, I'm just going to look at that and let me try and fix it. <coughs> you know, these are very cheap to make, but as you can see, it's quite a lot of work. I mean, uh, probably one hour or so yesterday, and probably I spent three, at least three hours on it today, and it's not finished yet, so four hours. <coughs> and then what I'll do is tomorrow, I'm just going to do 80 sandpaper today to get the shape, and then I'm going to leave it overnight to really get hard and then I'm going to go over it with a hundred and well basically I'm going to go all the way down to 280 sandpaper to give a nice smooth finish so I'll start off with, you know tomorrow with about 120 and then 180 220 280 something like that for the sandpaper progression so about four you know four grades of sandpaper is probably more than adequate and it, it totally depends on you, it depends on, you know, what level of finish you want on your own hair. Uh, I find a piece of uh, plywood and I lay it on top like this and I check that it's not rocking around, which it most definitely is. This leg is way high over here. This is a new one. I didn't change these three, I just left them as they were. This doesn't look very balanced. Yeah, most of this you just do visually, it's not you know, precision engineering, it's just art, so whatever looks good works really. It doesn't follow the shape of the cutter form exactly, who cares, as long as it looks, it looks nice. Okay, so that's good now, that's definitely level. I'm going to hold it there, flip it over, very carefully lay it down. Okay. I'm going to take the top off, it should be very easy to do because of the fall mica. Okay, now I want to get the uh, I want to get the inner you know, box out before this dries too much. So I'm going to go around here. carefully stripping away the excess down to the point where I can definitely see that I'm outside of there so obviously I'm not there yet I'm going to keep going around uh, it's going to take me a few minutes so I'll just edit that out it's not really freeing out Once you've started to get it out, it becomes easier. <laughs> <laughs> this 
see that in front of Well, this great video. <laughs> okay. Clearly, I'm going to have to do this again. A waste of time. So, what I'll do is I'll do this again. I'm not going to film the whole thing. And then, what I should have done here, this is the first time that's happened to me, and it happens to be the time when I'm on camera. This is just sticking inside here. I need to find a better way to release this. So I'll do an update video and show you the finished product. But as you can see, if I hadn't cracked it, it would have been quite a nice design. What I'm probably going to do is let this dry and just glue it together, glue it back together, and then just use it as a, um, you know, as a, whatever, just as a popper around the house. But there's something not right with this cement. In previous jobs, it, it's felt better, and I think it's because I reduced the amount of plasticizer that I did in here. Normally I put quite a lot of plasticizer in the cement and it feels better to work with. This one I kind of reduced it and I'm kind of regretting that decision now. So I think in future I'm going to stick with about 10 to 15 percent or even 20 percent plasticizer. But that's all I'm going to show you for now. Uh, but you can see the shape, it's going to look, it's going to look pretty nice and it's all sanded up. Basically it's the same. Exactly the same design as this one. Now that's the color it's going to go with as it dries, which is kind of a boring color. But when you put the uh, sealer on, that's the color you're going to get there. When you put the gloss sealer on, which is, uh, I think it's going to, you know, it's going to look very nice. So I'll update this video in a few days, and uh, and then I'll show you the finished product on the version two of this one. 